Welcome to our new small group series, Scripture and Art. In order to expand our normal content and appeal to a broader interest, we will renew our focus on Jesus Christ by exploring how art was influenced by his life and teachings. We can see through their work how the artists may give us a deeper perspective to these scriptural events. In this series, specifically on the events leading up to and during Holy Week. As we move through each session, one focus will be thinking about how the artist chose to represent Jesus, God who became man. Artists face many dilemmas when painting Jesus Christ, deciding what he looked like, how his suffering could be shown as not just personal, but cosmic, how his human and divine nature could both be made clear at the same time. Biblical texts and commentators often solve this kind of problem by indicating the ungraspable nature of God through contradiction. He is both Prince of Peace and Suffering Servant, King of Kings and yet despised and rejected by men, Savior and Sacrifice, the Sheep and the Shepherd, paradoxes resonant and powerful in language, but almost impossible to paint. These dualities affect how we take in and interpret sacred art. We should take the time to notice what is different in the way Christ is portrayed. Perhaps there is some dissonance, disruption, or disjunction that unsettles us. This leads us to consider the impossibility of representing the divine and the difficulty of showing Christ in his humanity, how he is like us, but also very unlike us. This feeling extends to our human comprehension of the mystery of the Incarnation. It is something our minds can never fully encompass or understand. This process of seeing Christ in a different perspective, but also realizing the painter's and our own inability to fully grasp Jesus Christ, true God and true man, should leave us with a sense of humility and wonder. In the hands of the great artists, the different moments and aspects of Christ's life become archetypes of all human experience. The virgin nursing her son conveys the feelings every mother has for her child. Christ mocked is innocence and goodness beset by violence. In the suffering Christ, we encounter the pain of the world. And Christ risen and appearing to Mary is a universal reaffirmation that love cannot be destroyed by death. As we explore scripture and art over the next few sessions, we may see our own lives, feelings, and emotions reflected in these portrayals of Christ. Furthermore, we will be humbled and moved to adoration as we explore these moments of Christ's life, death, and resurrection, and begin to realize the magnitude and impact of the divine incarnating into human form. Please allow yourself to have an open mind and heart as you look and discover not only the feelings of the artist, but moreover, a different view of the stories, which we believe we know so well.